What's going on guys, I've been here, welcome back to another video and today it is Aston Villa versus Liverpool at Villa Park. Not expecting much from today. How can we? Liverpool have, in the Premier League, failed to win once and that was a draw against United last week. So you know, we could we could get something from here if United did. Doubt it though, because it's Liverpool. Hopefully we can put up a good atmosphere though, you know, and sort of show them, show them we're not a team to be messed with, you know. I think, you know, if we can come away with a goal and, you know, conceding less than three, that is, that is massive for us. That's absolutely massive because it, show, it shows now how good the team is and how much the team can fight. So today I'm going to, I'm going to say 3-1 to Liverpool. I think we'll nick one, but I, th I think they're just too good. For us to get a point, yeah, we'll just see. Let's see what Dad thinks. Good afternoon, team. Um, I can only echo really what Ben just uh, just said. I think Liverpool are just too strong for us, really. Possibly the best team in Europe. Poss well, I don't know if I've got that far, but they are. I think they are a very, very strong team, and it's going to be a big, big test. It's the very first big. Big game at Villa Park this season. I yep. suggest it's now. It's one of the. It's one of the, the games that everybody wants to be at. And if we can nick a point, then I'd take that right that, now. That's good as a win. I'd take it right now. But like Ben, I just think they're going to be too strong. I can also see a three-one. Yeah. Um, I really hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. Yeah. But. Uh, that's that's just to have a feel at the moment. Yeah. I won't walk away disappointed if we lose. I will walk away disappointed if we if lose we six battered. nil, <laughs> like we did the last time we played them, <laughs> which was shocking. Well, we won't leave Ali this time, will we? we no, no. We, we got to stay for it. Yeah, but yeah, we, we, it, we, I think it's yeah. just a case of uh, let's just get this out of the way, and if yeah. we can get anything out of it, we do, and it's yeah. happy days then. Uh, up the villa. Up the villa. So now we've got someone who's very popular on Twitter and someone who's helped me out a lot, Ty Bracey. We've been waiting a while to get him on. I think now's a good time for it, isn't it? Let's see what he thinks. Hi, Ben. Uh, Ty Bracey here. I'm going to go with 3-1 to Liverpool, but John McGinn to score first. Fingers crossed, it's going to be a tough game. Up the villa. So I just want to give a massive thank you to Rob Warner, the guy who designed all the Puma kits from 2001 to 2008. He came up with the idea of B6 Ben and he, he gave me my logo. So I just, I just, I just want to say a massive thank you to him. Like, I, I don't know how I can repay him really, but thank you, Rob. I think today, James. I think we'll probably lose, but I can yeah. do anything for a point. Yeah. I think we'll probably lose 3-1 for them, Salah, Firmino and yeah. Salah again, yeah. and for us, John again.
1 0 Villa. Oh, I do not believe this. <laughs> this is the best half of football I've actually seen us play. This is ridiculous. Champions of Europe and they're getting beaten by Little Old Villa. Right? <laughs> We've just been dominating them. They've had the chances, but then they've been diving, they've been missing easily. You know what I mean? Like, We've just taken our chances when they come, you know, we've just been pushing on every time on the came attack. We hit them up, we hit them hard. But we could have scored about two or three this half. Because you know, we just had the chance of just having to put them away. Good half of football up. I can't believe it. Probably gonna end up losing still though. <laughs> and so from all though, look, we need another goal. I think we can really still that then. Up the villa. Disappointed that we lost. I don't care. Because you know what? We would have been disappointed anyway. Because that's how our fan base are. We go into every game wanting to win it. You know what I'm thinking? I, th I thought we were going to lose. I still came out disappointed. Even though I knew exactly what would happen. And it happened. I knew it. And I still come in away disappointed. Because I know with how we play, we should be fighting for that top six with how we play this season. I, should be, I, don't, I don't care. I might say, oh, like, like saying that it's, you know, it's deluded, it's not. So I have watched us play nearly every single game this season. And we've just been, we've been over every team apart from Palace. We've been all over every team. And yet yeah, we still come away right now, just outside of the bottom three. Just outside of the relegation zone. And we knew it was going to be a tough season. We knew it. We spent a lot of money. You know, we don't, we don't know. No, spent, have a lot of time waiting 
until you know it all gels. It gels and it's still not working. But we've had two very tough games, and we should come out of that knowing we're good. We know how to uh, defend, and we know how to attack. Now, if we can put them together for one game, next game, Wolves on Sunday, that'll be brilliant. That'll be absolutely brilliant. But you never know, do you? Classic Villa, from the part of the end. Thank you for watching this video. Really? I'll see you for Newcastle.